Good day, grade 9 students. So, yung project nyo po for this quarter or for the last class quarter is proving right triangle. So, this is a fourth quarterly project in Math 9. Yeah, so, about the project. So, this project is about proving if the side measurements of a real-life triangular object satisfy the side measurements of a right triangle. So, you will be using the Pythagorean theorem. So, here is your task. So, the student will look for three, three real-life triangular objects. Um, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean na object talaga. Kapag nakita nyo yung isang bagay, ay parang triangular siya. Na kahit hindi specific na ano ba kung ganitong bagay. Basta nakita mo na yung isang image in a form ng right triangle, pwede yun. Specifically, right triangle and will, um, will measure in centimeter each side of the triangle. So, susukatin nyo yung bawat side ng right triangle. After measuring each side, the student will prove if the given triangle is a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the square of the hypotenuse, yung hypotenuse yung longest side, um, is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Yan. Or, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, wherein yung ating... Um, a and B, sila po yung legs nung right triangle, and C, C, yung ating hypotenuse or yung longest side. So, the student will take a picture of the real-life object and will paste it in paste it each in a short band paper together with the solution. So, yung solution na yun, yun yung ipoprove mo kung um, right triangle ba siya using Pythagorean theorem. Now, yung conclusion nyo for each Proving will only be right triangle or not a right triangle. So, kung nag-satisfy siya or nag-equal, so, ibig sabihin, right triangle siya. Kapag hindi, ibig sabihin, hindi siya right triangle. Kasi merong iba na kala mo right triangle na, pero pag hindi siya nag-satisfy dun sa Pythagorean theorem, hindi siya right triangle. Okay, mga baka siguro merong... Um, lumabis na konte or, or something or hindi talaga siya right. So, gano'n. Here's an example. Yung, yung ginamit ko, yung sa may hagdan. So, di, di ba nga sabi ko sa inyo, hindi laging, hindi siya specific na object. Kung baga, itong part na to, nag-form siya ng right triangle, yung pinakang ito, itong may red part. Ayan, papunta dun sa floor and then pataas. So, nag-form siya ng right triangle. Nung sinukat, in centimeter po ha, yung taas niya is 200 cm, and then yung floor ay 210 cm, tapos yung hypotenuse or yung C natin is 290. So, isusulat ko lang yung values, A is 200, B is 210, and C is 290. So, ipoprove natin kung ito ba ay nag-fit in sa right triangle. Okay? Ano ba yung formula? A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Okay? So, later na natin ilalagay yung CM. Pwede nyo ilagay ko naman na CM. So, gagawin natin, um, di ba ang A natin is 200? Yung A and B pwede magkakalit, pwede yung nakatayo yung B, yung vertical, pwede horizontal natin yung A, pwede yun. But never si C ang mapapaltan. Si C yung ating hypotenuse. So, 200 squared plus 210 squared must be equal to 290. Ito yung paprove natin, squared. Yung 200 squared natin ay 4,000 plus yung 210 squared natin, 44,100. You just use your calculator na lang. And then yung 290 squared natin, pag tinay ko sa calc u, siya po ang 84,100. So, 84,100. So, pag pinag-plus natin itong dalawang to, yung 40,000, it should be 40,000, plus 44,100, ay 40,000, para sure ako, call Q, plus 44,100 is equal to 84,100. And it's equal to 84,100 na narito sa may so, ibig sabihin, nag-equal tayo. So, therefore, therefore, ang conclusion natin ay right 
triangle. So, it forms a right triangle. So, kayo na yung bahala kung paano nyo siya i-organize. Okay. So, that's an example. Now, here's the rubric. So, your project will be assessed or will be graded using the following criteria. Yung first natin, syempre, yung creativity. So, syempre, kung paano nyo uh, inayos or pinaganda yung mga designs, mga ganun. Okay? So, it doesn't matter kung pasulat lang yung ano kung maganda na mga sulit yung walang problem. Authenticity of the real-life objects kasi pwedeng galing lang sa internet or whatsoever. So, dapat authentic siya at ko mismo yung nag-picture. Then, organization of data, this is how you organize your project. Kung paano pa yung solution mo na dito or yung object mo, mga ganun bagay. Paano mo siya inorganize? Kung readable ba? Naiintindihan ba yung sulat? Ganun. Accuracy naman of the computation. Siyempre, dapat tama yung pagsusolve nyo. Yung, yung pagpupuro. Total of 20 points. Yan. So, the project will be submitted using the link in the description below. Ayan. The, sa description yung pinakang link. So, pwede nyo naman akong i-PM para sa link ng project. The total number of pages must be for only. Dapat, dapat lamang. Yung isang page, for cover page with name, section, and title. And then yung three pages yung for real life object. So, isang page lang per object with solution and competition and with conclusion. Okay, so that's your project for the fourth one. So thank you and thank you for allowing yourself to be part of my yeah. experience. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. So comment down below and yeah. Thank you.